What's up everybody? We're doing a yard tour today with a good customer and friend, William McCraw and Susan. This is their house. They've been gardening for how long, William? Five years. <laughs> you wouldn't know it by looking at this place. It looks like you've probably been gardening your whole life. Yep. It's funny that you just got into it five years ago. Mm. But we're going to walk around. They're going to show us some stuff that they have had planted now for several years. Some of it's new, some of it's five years old. And uh, anyway, let's get started. Okay. And if you want to show us this first bed over sure. here. So this is, uh, this looks like some phlox. Yes. Here. And then, my goodness, those cone flowers. Cone flowers. <laughs> yeah, they're, that's the second year. I think we got them from you last year. Yeah. And then they must like it here. You got some sunshine ligustrums I see on both sides. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that looks like a sedum down yeah, there. Yeah, sedum in the corners. And then Uncle Foggy. So this is a conifer that I thought was a goner. It was a goner. You had something here that shaded it out. Yes. And then you had to move it like a lantana. 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 You had a lantana, yeah. shaded it out. And they like to have killed it. Look at your free range chickens <laughs> yeah. you got going on here. Yeah. <laughs> and then up against that fence, that's some, is that head smidget arbor Yes, body? yes. Which is a good low growing right. evergreen. And you don't see these variegated very often. No, no. So, and, in I, fact, I don't know that I have seen a variegated flock. Yeah, we've got a couple of them. It's the first time, this is their first year. And uh, we're, I was surprised what color the flowers were because we didn't know. No, we had no so, clue what yeah. color the flowers were. I think it's an, an unusual plant. It is very unusual. So I like how you, you've got to have one of the most interesting gardens <laughs> I've ever seen because a lot of gardeners, they'll either, they'll either just have perennials or they'll just have they're heavy on annuals or heavy yeah. on shrubs. Mm -hmm. And you've got like a mix of everything. Like this, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this shocks me. Yes. Let's see, you planted this um, Not two years ago? Two years ago. And it was like a twig. Right. Yeah. yeah. This looks like it's been here yep. 20 years. Yep. So it's a weeping red bud called Ruby Falls. And then this is a showpiece here. This is a weeping bald cypress. William, I think you got this off of me three or four years four ago. Four years ago, four years ago. And I've never had another one to sell. I, I should have kept it for myself, <laughs> but you definitely got a, got a gem right here. And we got it in the perfect place, I believe. It's loving it. Yeah. Because it's, it's probably tripled or quadrupled oh yeah, in size. It's quadrupled. want to leave out this weeping atlas yes here. yes this is beautiful and you got it in this big container looks like it could probably grow here for the next three or four decades uh, uh, easily. <laughs> easily and i like how you've trained the arms because when these harden off yeah it'll maintain that shape right that's really cool that's what we're trying trying for on it you got some calla lilies planted through here and those came back from last year. They were yeah. nothing, and then all of them has come back. The that's, moles got them. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. Now this is another, we this got is that a, from you. yeah, we got that from you. Yeah, too. that's a dwarf ball yeah. cypher. Yeah, And it's grown yep. quite a bit. Oh yeah, it's, got, it's, it's gotten huge. Yeah. It's grown, I, I bet four or five feet. Okay. We got that from you all. Yeah, this was their first. This is uh, some variation of a weeping Norway yeah. spruce. I don't know the variety right off, but. But this is the first one we got from you. Yep. This is so cool. It's like an irregular. Yeah. It's coming over the fence. I think yeah, it and it's apparently pretty happy here. Oh, yeah, it loves that. It loves the spot right there. I guess it gets enough, you know, half and half yep. to wear. We got all these calla lilies from you last year, and the moles ate them, and we thought they were Oh, yeah, nice. check out this calla lily. And then um, they came back. Uh, we thought the moles totally killed them. It's a beauty though. That the colors. Is pretty. Beautiful. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. And this is the jasmine we got from you, but 
this is believe it or not like one plant all the way over so this is one plant yeah one plant yeah and how long has this been planted here uh three this is the third year and it that's a carolina jasmine yeah it's the yellow one so yeah okay is Miss Huff Lantana. Oh yeah. That oh. stuff goes crazy. Yeah, it, it sure is. And I'll wait till you see the other ones down there. Got some dianthus planted. Another weeping <coughs> atlas cedar. Yeah, we got beautiful that with the, the vinca around it. Last year I think it was. That's a pretty Gerber daisy. They were pretty uh, a couple days ago, but you know they come and then they flowers by and they come back. But we got some Aster Stokes, which actually has multiplied and obviously our flocks has multiplied. Oh my goodness. The rabbits ate these flocks to the ground this spring and look at them. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. And then it just, <laughs> that is just insane. Did that come from S and K? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That, that was one of the first ones. We that's gotta be. Yeah. That, that's another variation of a weep in Norway. Yep. Yeah. And We're then waiting for it to come over, but it hasn't. This is a lot to take in because you got those daylilies in the back too. Yeah, yeah. They're they're getting ready to do their second swag. We're buds. waiting. We're waiting for this to fall over, but it keeps wanting to grow grow yeah. back up again the other way. Yeah, yeah. So, I know it might. It's got a mind of its own. Yeah, it does. And, and Justin, we got these beautiful petunias from you and Rebecca. Last year we got the Rebecca from you. So these come back very nice. They they multiplied. They've multiplied. And then you got the festuca uh beyond bluegrass yeah and these are gara they're not right now they're not um have, are they, they bloomed or blooming, they have it? but they're 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 getting ramped up to bloom again and these are the beautiful petunias we got from you and they just love it here oh yeah we got these from you and then remember that's a heck of a statement i told you, I, you could <laughs> two people could reach around them this is are, Dobbs Frosted? Yeah, Dobbs Frosted Chinese Jupiter we got from you. Was so, it last year, I think? So these are on a standard. Yeah, on a standard, yep. So they got a little trunk to them where they've been grafted. And then you've got them at the entryway, one on either side greeting you. Remember these? We got these um, pines from you, these skirt pines. Is it a white pine? They're skirt, aren't they skirt pines? Yeah, it's, it's a different, it's a type of white pine, I believe. I'm telling you, these things have grown what, Lynn? Four oh. foot. Oh yeah, at least four foot. I I think you bought these in like seven gallon pots. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Look at the. Yeah, they've grown at least four feet, the minimum. We didn't get this from you, but this is a swamp plant. See, there's one over there. The flowers will be red and as big as your hand. There was the, that one over there started blooming. Wow. And then here's all the cone flowers. Well, aren't these beautiful? Oh yeah. These are almost done. For they, you know, they went through a cycle. And they're just so, everything looks so happy. And, uh, and then, <laughs> yeah, these are the limelights. That's the limelights. These are the two limelights. Yeah, what? that is, and that Justin, is unbelievable. Justin, and I cut them down to almost nothing. And that's how oh much they've grown. So this, these are on a standard too. Yeah. yeah. So they, it has a trunk, but they've gotten so big. They're, yeah. That's just amazing. I can tell it's loving it here because it's getting shade. Yes. These, these appreciate not yes. being full sun. So that's beautiful. And then you got the penstemon right here beside it. They were beautiful in the spring. <coughs> they yeah. Have, they're done for, yeah, they're done for now. Wow. What? And this is a Japanese maple here. Yes. I can't remember the variety of this one. Did that come from us? I can't yes. remember. Yes. Yeah, that come from you. I mm -hmm. thought it did. Yep. Grown a lot. It's grown a ton. Oh yeah. But the beetles are getting it. Look at the trunk on this thing. It's amazing. And then over here's more. Uh, is this more Miss Huff over Ms. here? Miss Huffs. Look at the size of these Miss Huffs. That's a globe blue spruce. Blue spruce. And they were pretty, but they're wrapping it up for the season. And it's starting to lean, and I, I'm afraid to mess with it, so I'm just letting it alone. Yeah. Well, it'll do its thing. Yeah. It's going to fill out. And yeah. Get huge. Oh yeah. 
And then this looks like some kind of maybe a crimson queen or a red dragon maple. Uh, it's okay. red dragon, yeah. It's so easy to walk by stuff. Yeah, oh else. yeah. There's so much. And we got some spiria, which yeah. uh, we got this spiria against the fence. They don't look like much now, but they're just beautiful. They turn Yeah, they're, they're, they're new. Yeah. Is this lamb's ear? Yes. You got kind of circled around? Yeah. These atlases? Yep. These were Mo, Larry, and Curly. Remember? Remember yeah. we called them Mo, Larry, and Curly? Mo, Larry, and Curly. Yep. Wow. Well, this is Mo and Curly. And then you've got, uh, God, is that firecracker plant right there? Yes. And yep. then black and blue yep. salvia. Yep. Some pretty black eyed seasons planted right through there. It's, um... And just look, look at this view right here. I mean, that is awesome. It's a lot of work. <laughs> the staghorns up here. And some oh, yeah. angel puppets um, that we started. There's, I think so I these staghorn ferns are pretty old. Yes. That one's mother's, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's... I think we grew that one in the greenhouse for maybe three years. It got a little yellow since it rained. It didn't like the rain. Yeah, it, it should. This is a good spot for it in yeah. this shade covered it was area. It really good until it rained, and then it got a couple of yellow pieces on it. Yeah. And these are there's a couple of angel trumpets that are started. Yeah, we got four of them here now, and they're they're growing here. good. We got this beautiful Swedish ivy. Oh yeah, so look at that. The, we made the mistake of putting it out in the sun, so we got to burn. And we let it get burned a little shade. bit. This is good coverage here too, for all your shade stuff. Yeah. And here are our pride and joy. These are. <laughs> Told you they were right here on the porch. They really have grown. They have. They've gotten. They've gotten crazy. So these are two weeping Norway spruces that. It had to be in a 50 gallon pot or oh, something yeah, crazy. Oh yeah, 50 gallon, every bit of it. And they probably weighed 500 pounds. What did you have to get a tractor? Tractor. Put it on a forklift yep. just to get it over here? Just to bring them in. Do you like where we put them here? Like oh the yeah, they the just kind of greet you yep. on either side. Yep. They kind of sway in the wind. And I wanted to, to mention that this year you had the most awesome spider plants. But mm -hmm. I moved from ferns to the spider plants, and we get nothing but compliments. And you could give them away. They nip off and take them with them. Right. So I love them much better than just a regular fern, but they were awesome. Right. They look good up there. Mm -hmm, they do. And I see you've been, you've been trimming your spirals oh, up. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. They, how often do you have to trim these to keep this shape? Probably it's, what? I trimmed it last fall and then I just, you yeah, see, I just trimmed once it. or twice a year. Twice a year yeah, and then maybe. you can maintain this form. Yeah. Everybody asks if they just grow naturally this way. No. <laughs> I say that yeah, requires a little bit, a little more bit of work. Than that. It ain't much. It ain't that much, but a little bit. But it looks good. They look so real good. Thrilled. We had to build the gardens just the for these two trees. trees. We built yeah. these gardens just for these two trees. That's amazing. And I just wanted to mention, you know, so we all had the hibiscus, a couple branches fell off. Mm -hmm. We stuck them in a bucket with dirt. And, and they've rooted. Oh, and it's rooted. And, and I planted it over here. That's amazing. <laughs> you just never know, do you? No, you never can this tell. Was, this garden's not mature. Yeah, these are the these are the new ones. We bought him from you. I forgot what it is. This is a uh, Pinus parviflora. It's a it's a blue pine. Or it's actually a white pine. Um, I think it's Blue Angel. I think that's what they call this one. It's got the most unusual pine cones. Look at how they grow. What's how they're growing, they grow like in clumps of four. You can see the clumps up there. Oh, yeah. That is so pretty. There's a good spot for it. That's a, yeah, some type, I think, uh, Arizona Cypress or But I thought these were We got them pretty. from you. Oh wow. Aren't they beautiful? 
Look how pretty that is. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. You see the bees are just going crazy yeah. on it. These are so pretty. This garden part, this is all new and just a very young. All, all this yeah. is new. Mm -hmm. Yep. Except for that maple, it looks like it's been there a while. Yeah, we got that maple from you. And yeah, we had we a got this little uh, weeping, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. But he doesn't grow very good. Here. So you got ice plant planted in here. And it normally is beautiful. Mm hmm. It's fine. I ain't worried about the dogs. <laughs> yeah, this has uh, usually is green and white. Let's see. Is it looking that way right now? Not mm -hmm. too much. It's, it's turning it's, red. I see a variegation to it. Yeah, it's usually variegated. There's a Japanese maple called Sango Kaku. I'm wondering if that's what it is. I don't remember myself. But it's under this these shade trees, so that's that's the perfect spot for it. No wonder it's jumping up and down. Oh, it's look at the size of the leaf on this. Yeah, look at that. It amazes that is crazy. Me. Isn't that crazy? So how long has that been planted there? It's first year. First year? Mm -hmm. Wow. Flamingo, am I saying that right? It is a flamingo dappled willow. And wow. actually it turns pink. See how it's turning white? It, it'll get pink like a flamingo. Wow. Let's just change the leaves right Does now. it do that in the fall time? I can't remember. This is our first year. To yeah, it's first okay. year. That's a black dragon cryptomeria there. I recognize I was it. Say, what, we got those from, we got them from you. Well, it's very cool. It's got little cones too, yep. as you can yeah. see. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got two of those. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's snow and summer jasmine. Isn't that beautiful? That is pretty. We saw it uh, up in the mountains, and when it covered the ground, it was so beautiful. Of the moles, so the garlic keeps. Is the, the garlic keeping? Is it voles or moles? Is moles. it voles? Well, so the garlic's keeping the keeps voles them out. away. So after all the pest control yep. stuff, that's what all you found. All that pest control didn't do a thing. So it's the garlic that's it's the keeping garlic. them away. The, the smell of it keeps them from well, that's coming. Good to in. know. I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate that information. And these are like one of my favorites. Um, are they Jacob's Ladder or Solomon Seal? They get little flowers that grow That's up That's Solomon's there. Seal, ain't it? I always get those two mixed up. It's pretty. And then we're trying to just um, get some day lilies and grasses out here. Mm-hmm. Got a maple growing right here. Yeah. It's pretty. That's brand new. Yeah, I can tell that one's not been there long. No, uh-uh. This, this garden's kind of new, but it was pretty when the day lilies were out. So William, for everything you plant, you were telling me that you you have a you have some kind of system, like you you get composted cow manure or horse, horse manure. Horse manure. Yep. And I, you let that you compost that and let that sit for, for how about long? two years. Two years. Yep. And then you turn it over. And, turn it over, and and then you go about 50-50? No, believe it or not, we'll put uh, I dig the hole twice the size of what I need, mm -hmm. just like you're supposed to. Put some of that down in the bottom of it, put the plant, put a little bit around the sides, then I put regular dirt on, then I kind of mix that up a little bit. You do that for and everything Everything you plant. we plant. Oh, it's every, making a difference. Every single plant <laughs> that you see here has that same system. Now, I'm right. familiar with this tree too. You are. That's a weeping Arizona cypress. I, we got that from you. And that's probably it's double you've, you've yeah triple. you've it's only been here what two or three years mm -hmm. this is a start of the third year and it's right at your entrance yeah. so it kind of yeah. kind of greets you as you come in yeah 
Look at that variegated cannons. That, yeah, Even these are pretty. the flowers are done, the collar is just beautiful. They are. You got a butterfly bush then growing here. Several. All these are all these are different types of butterfly bushes. Different colors. These are yeah. pretty. Mm, they smell good. Got they? your hose hid where you're not running. Yeah, around. so you don't run over it. <laughs> yep. And this should be here down where you can't see it. And then this garden over here. It's coming. We got the Deodor from you. It is. There's the it has definitely developed since I've been here last. Yeah. So you yeah, got the Snow Sprite Deodor Cedar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those two limelights over there. Oh, they're doing great. Yeah, they're, they're doing fabulous. Tiny when we bought them. Yeah, they were just little things. Mm -hmm. Cone flowers. I see some coral bells. Look at these. Yeah, some of them are getting huge. Wow. That's hookra. And this one I know is called caramel. I'm very familiar with it. That's so pretty. And you got just the right amount of sun here too for them. Mm -hmm. That's why they're this thriving. It's a little out of control. <laughs> now it's, that's probably one of my favorite things that you have. Fat right Albert. That's no, th this yeah. a that's an Acrocona spruce. Yeah. Yeah. It's and uh, beautiful. I remember when you got that. I was yeah. I was jealous. I need one of those in my yard. He loves that. Wait till it gets, you know, 15, 20 Oh, yeah. Feet. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. And the cones that it puts out, it's just... Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful they, uh, they are mm -hmm. they are beautiful. Now, do you remember if this is Jazz Hands Lure Petal? And that's what it looks like. Why am I wanting to say it's Chinese fringe? It, it, that's a type of yeah, Lure Petal. Chinese, and they were this big when we got them. Yes. Yeah. So I think the tag says three feet by three feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that get, like, Those tags are not always reliable. They're nowhere near close. <laughs> yeah, this was a. And uh, those have been cut back. Yeah. Before. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're already at least yeah. four feet. Oh or yeah. More. Oh I yeah. Wanted, I wanted to point out something that I bet you never seen before. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a six foot phlox? No way. That's a six foot tall phlox back there. That is amazing. That I grew up in How that. Long, grew how up long in. has that been there? Well, I don't remember planting it. I oh, yeah, yeah, there. yeah. We planted it. Did we? Yeah. <laughs> it's, I know it's been three years. Wow. They're not supposed to get that big. No, they? they're not supposed to get. No. Uh -huh. Well, it might be that horse manure. <laughs> yeah. We got this little guy. <laughs> Whatever right that right mixture here. is, is working. Is it a whip plant? Whip yeah, plant. whip cord. So this is a whipcord cedar on a standard, and I yeah. forgot about this plant. Yeah. I think we've only got it in the nursery like once or twice. Mm -hmm. I know this was an Isley nursery yeah. plant. That is so cool. Yeah, this garden yeah. Wait till that thing fills out. I can't, I can't wait. wait. I can't yeah. wait. That's going to be awesome. You can see awesome. it's got all this new growth coming here on the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is beautiful. Unusual, I think. This is Purple Heart uh, Trandescantia, I think, and they they will definitely spread over time. I hope that, is that it fills this garden. Yeah, up. I think I think it'll fill this whole area in. I think we got these all. Then you have autumn. These autumn ferns yeah, this is an autumn fern. Yep, and this is year two for the autumn ferns. Yep. Ferns. Wow, it's come back nicely. It is. And they nice. they love it around trees. They do. They do, they yeah. do. It's doing really good. Yeah. You got a hosta back here. It's looking good. Yeah. Your window boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had coleus and ivy. I had two, two, but uh, rabbit eat this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, down to about nothing. <laughs> yeah, it looked like that. Yeah, it looked like that one before yeah. the rabbit got a hold of it. I think uh, these were mums or chrysanthemums that we got one fall. We threw them in the trash can. And we noticed they were growing in the trash can, so I felt sorry for them, and we stick them here. And now they <laughs> they don't bloom just in the fall. They're fighters. They yeah, they are. Bloom, they, they are bloom fighters. They in the summer and the fall, and I didn't realize that. But See, a lot of people don't know you can do that with fall mums. They just no. they toss them, but if you'll just plant them in the ground, they're usually pretty reliable. Yep. We don't do anything to them. Nothing. We don't get any special treatment. No water or hardly. But um, they do. They may look good. They bloom this up. one's all. I can't believe they're already blooming that yep. quick. They come as more if we would water them. This yeah, is a pretty. lavender. It's getting. It's coming. You know, it's about done. Mm -hmm. That's a good see. backdrop to the mums there. Yeah, this, really is. this is the weeping 
a last conceder that almost died, right? Yes, almost died. I remember we were pretty upset about yes, this Yes, very upset. It, it started dropping its leaves pretty quick after you planted it. And it lost down almost to dug it almost up. nothing. <laughs> almost dug it's it up. One of my favorites. And it looks, it's, it's it made like, a comeback. It looks like an old man for some reason. I just yeah. It. It's got that eclectic mm -hmm. feel to it. And then this is zebra grass over yeah. here. Yeah, zebra. That is so pretty. We didn't get this in the nursery this year. I, a lot of people are asking for it, but sometimes you just can't find. It's very pretty, yeah. That is, I love the variegation to it. I am not familiar with this type of view. I know yous uh, pretty got well, some but. We've that are low the ground and green, but this one is. This one is unusual. going crazy. And then this is a Rose of Sharon yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's pretty much in full bloom. Yeah. How long has this been here? This is second year. Mm -hmm, year wow. Mm -hmm. Second year. Second year and it's already that big. Second year. Mm -hmm. And then you got some crepe myrtles in the backdrop there. And they're red. Look at that color. Maybe That's a true red. red. Maybe you see red, but I, I don't I've never seen red that much. That, That's a beautiful red. That's a beautiful red. That is a true red. Yeah. Wow. And then we got this one from We you got Justin. this Connor for from you. Yeah. yeah. This is a thunderhead pine. Thunderhead. I actually have one of these in my yard and I love it. It has gone crazy. It's, it's been there about babies. five years. It's got all the babies coming it's on. It's got there. some baby cones coming yeah. on. Mm -hmm. Well this but one this will eventually I mean it, it will definitely fill oh, out this yeah. area. How long has it been here? I think this is the start of the fourth year, I think. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll take off. Yeah, we have to keep moving things because they're getting bigger than we thought. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got that smoke tree <laughs> back there. The smoke. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it, it hasn't got any of the the plumes that yeah. developed yet. Yeah. Well I I cut it way back. Yeah. That's gonna look really nice. Too much, I don't know. Yeah, I might have cut it back too much. No, it's definitely it's probably but, gonna plume pretty soon. That is pretty. And how long has it been here? Uh I think this is the third year. Third year. Yep. And it's huge it's cherry more cherry jubilee everything gets so big cool. around here yeah <laughs> it's the horse manure <laughs> it's gotta be i don't know what you're what you're doing besides that but whatever you're doing you need to keep doing it because it's, it's working that's all we're doing so william how did you get into gardening well believe it or not i'm gonna tell you a short story before this ever started i hated gardening I remember you told me that. I did not like it. I did not want to do nothing with it. You had no interest in no gardening. No interest whatsoever. And then all of a sudden, I decided I wanted to try something different. Because I was getting a little bit older. I wanted to try something different. Okay, so you're approaching so, retirement. And you said, yep, I need a hobby. Yep, I wanted something to do. And you wanted something to do. And I started planting a couple little things. And the more I started planting them, the more I liked it. And the more... The more I did, the more I wanted to do. You caught the bug, so to and speak. And I caught the bug. <laughs> you caught the bug. Yep. And that's, it happens. That That's the whole story in a nutshell. So you went from no experience, no interest, just five years ago to, right. to this. To, to this. Making your own compost. Yep. Planting an array of perennials, yep. annuals, conifers. We try, to, we try to pick different things. We try to pick for shade or sun. Uh -huh. You know, uh, that's amazing. And I just enjoy it. I, I'm out here from probably six o'clock in the morning till sometimes maybe as late as 10 o'clock at night. That's what people don't realize how much work goes into and it. And I'm not tired a bit. Yeah. Because it's, I enjoy it. When you're enjoying it, it's not work. It's is not it? work. So not you got you got to love it because this the upkeep on this probably is. Oh yeah, it's it, it it's takes, a lot. Uh, just to water. If I if I'm wanting to water, just certain ways, mm -hmm. it'll take me four four or five hours just to water. Just to get things watered. Yeah. Wow. Weed weed it. You know, it'll take me a we, day. We are in the south. We're in Mooresboro. Mooresboro, North Carolina. We're about an hour west of Charlotte. Yep. And uh, this this southern heat's no joke, is it? No, it's no joke. <laughs> it sucks it, the water right out of the ground. It will take it out very fast. And we haven't been getting a lot of rain either. No. So that that adds to the the watering equation. It also. surely it surely does. 
All right, folks, this is William's Yard. Let us know down in the comments what you thought about it, what you think about it. And this is pretty inspiring because you, again, no interest in gardening whatsoever just five years ago. No interest at all. And what were you telling me about get, you're going to get your Master Gardener's? I'm going to go get my Master Gardener's certificate. He's getting a Master Gardener's certificate. And it, I think you're already a Master Gardener. But, well, thank you. But if the certificate adds to that, that's, that's great too.